guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to another episode. We crack open a canvas print. I don't know whether that's the official name, but this is uh, part of the 2021 Canvas print shootout. Uh, this is another print. So if this is your first video that you're watching here, uh, let me get you up to speed as far as we're doing this year. So each of the previous years, the first year we did the, the Canvas shootout, we tested three companies. We put all the videos and all the reviews into one video. Last year, we compared seven companies, seven Canvas print companies, and we put that in a single video as well. And that ended up being a beast of a video about seven, seven hours, about two hours, actually about two and a half hours of memory uh, recall, or if I recall rather. Uh, so this year, we're comparing 11 companies, friend. So rather than having you sit down and watch a five, six hour video, what we're doing is we're making a little bite-sized little individual videos on each one of the canvas prints that we reviewed. And so all the videos are the same. So what we do, and again, if this is your first time, each year we're going to maximize, get our best value for $100. We stick with a 16 by 24, we upload the same photo to uh, each of the companies and we see which ones are the best? Which are we getting the best quality? Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this print here with you so you can see how it's packaged, how the print looks. I'm going to share with you things I like, dislike, and I will close off on that. Now, if you want to see uh, who, uh, the other companies that we tested this year, check out the description below. We're going to have links to each of the other videos on that, um, as well as we're going to have a link over to the video that's going to have ultimately the video, or I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the print that we crowned as the winner of the 2021 best canvas print. That said, my friend, let's crack open. Actually, let's see who this is from. This is from Nation's Photo Lab. I know those folks. Good set of people. I think in Pennsylvania or someplace over the East Coast. Okay, I can tell you right now, I like how they package this. So you can see, this thing is sandwiched right in there. It's kind of floating in there. This is nice. And as I keep saying, why does packaging count? Wow, look at that. That thing is ready to be nuked. This is, the reason why this is important is, I've mentioned in, a, in some of the other videos, if you're a photographer, if you're a professional, you may be drop shipping uh, to your clients. Uh, this becomes the best representation of your work as well. When the client opens it up, if it looks cheaply thrown together and it's rattling all around, that looks poorly on you. So this is really good. Nations did a very good job uh, with packaging this here. And it also, you know, even if you're not a professional, you want your prints to get to you safely. And, you know, we all know FedEx, uh, UPS, they're drop kicking these boxes. There's a funny video online showing the difference between UPS, FedEx, I just forwarded it over to a friend yesterday as a reminder of how hysterical that is. But anyways, hey, these guys did a really good job packaging this together. This is really well done. And the print has a nice weight to it. I like to see it's in a plastic bag here for further protection. Boom, and we have... Add your bumpers. Okay, so we have a couple little bumpers in here with instructions in case you don't know if you need help <laughs> putting these stickers on. No comment. <laughs> All right. So, but anyways, the bumpers on the series that you want to place them on the bottom. And the reason why those are important is when you hang a print up on the wall rather than the bottom just resting on the wall, that keeps it off uh, a little bit there. Okay. So, as I promised, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of soak in for a moment what I'm looking at. Um, I can tell you one thing. The clarity and the sharp, this is really nice. The snow actually looks nice and white, whereas some of the other companies that we tested, uh, the snow either has like a blue hue or kind of a tannish kind of poo brown to it. Uh, and poo brown snow does not look nice. Uh, the Again, the sky has a slight discoloration right through here. The sharpness is pretty good. You can, this is the part where, incidentally, with each of these companies, where I'm looking at here is this area right through here, because you have a lot of these trees popping up, and that's a good place where I start to kind of determine how sharp the print is, is these areas right here, and then also on the lines of the house. Or I'm sorry, if you look at 
if you look at right here, the siding of the house, some of the photos were, it's really nice and sharp. You can actually make out the planks on the side of the house. Um, and then you can get some of the detail that goes through the tree here. So sharp, this, this is good. Is it the best? No, but it's, it's definitely on the upper scale. Okay. I didn't mention the, this earlier. So each one of the prints, each year, I put that logo here. And I, it, I'm having a bad day, but whether I covered this or not, I put a big logo over here on the corner of the print, and that's there to see if these companies do something, if they notify you, are you sure? Because again, often cases as professionals, you may be sending this out to a client. Now, whether you have a logo there or not, it's that's irrelevant. It's the point is, from a quality control standpoint, is somebody taking a look and like, okay, hey, that looks like ass, or that looks really good. Or hey, you know what? I probably should reach out to that customer and see, are they sure? Is this something that's supposed to be there? So whether a logo goes out or not, that's not the point. It's is somebody call, you know, putting a little quality control. And as you can see, this logo should be right here and it is down right here, which is unfortunately not a good thing. Looking at the corners right now, the corners from a front standpoint, well, this one's hanging out it's kind of sharp too. Um, Man, you know, and I I like the nation's people. Uh, this is this is a bit sloppy, guys. Uh, the canvas looks of decent quality. The tightness, again, if this is your first video watching, you want a good tight canvas. This is not as bad as others, but it's not the best. So it's they've done a decent job. Now. I'm going to give Nation some credit here. I love seeing it back. But as you all know, the when they put it back on here, it's also hiding uh, you bracing and what's behind here. And so we're going to crack the sucker open. And I'm almost, actually, let's check the mounting hardware first to see if that is 24. This is slightly off center to the right. OK, it's plumb there. Um, and again, looking at the back here, you can actually see, you can see, this is the part I'm talking about that's a little sloppy. The canvas is hanging up out of the top there. Um, again, when you're spending good money on a print, you want this thing to be flawless. And so, you know, granted, this is one little thing that's popping up, but all these things add up. And that's the whole purpose behind these videos, guys, is, you know, look. I'm not trying to bust anybody's balls with these canvas prints, but as a consumer, I want you guys to be able to go out there and know what you're getting for your money and to be able to make a better educated decision on what is the best canvas print for you. So keep that in mind as you're listening to me jibber jabber about all this. Now let's crack open the back of this here. Okay. When I crack over these bags, you know, as some of the other prints that you've seen me do, I always get nervous, like, oh, this could be another one of those pizza boxes. I hate those. Are, I think some of the cheapest prints I would be, as a consumer, I would be ticked off. I ordered a canvas print and got one of those pizza box style prints. And, and these things just don't make it easy for you to, no, granted, you shouldn't need to go ripping this stuff off as a consumer. But again, we're showing you underneath the hood and all that so all right hanging however okay okay so product 16 by 24 hanging hardware sawtooth which we saw that okay so one of the first things I've noticed here little rough stock but the corners look the corners look miter Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that. The corners look pretty good. Uh, the, again, the wood is a little rough uh, in some areas, but not bad. Uh, frequency of staples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Okay, it could be better. Uh, again, you want the more staples you put in there, that's just going to keep this 
tighter for a longer time frame. So this isn't bad though. I just want to clarify, it's not bad, but it's not the best. The corners of the framework uh, are pretty solid. As I mentioned a moment ago, the wood's a little rough. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a little, at least one bracing going across to the center here. Uh, again, I get really excited when I see uh, where they have the corner bracing uh, and at least a center brace going through the, the, the center there. Uh, let's see. Overall, it's a okay print. Again, what I do like about this print is you do have it's sharp in the front here. Um, it's okay tight. Um, the framework with the exception it doesn't have bracing is actually pretty good the corners are just flawless they they did a great job with the the the, the gaps in the uh, the frame staple frequency is okay the corners i think could be tidied up again this one over here is actually hanging up over the top uh they missed the mark on the logo and a part of that logo is even hanging up on the top which doesn't look right um and i like that they put the back Oh, you know, I just noticed this there. <laughs> Let's see if you can pick this up here. This is somebody's shoe print on the back of this, uh, on the back of this, uh, backing here. So this is a size, uh, looks like a, is that a size shoe print? And something on the back there. It's like a, like a Converse shoe or something. I'm not sure. What do you think? Is that a shoe print? Either way, something ran over this or stepped on this. Um, okay, that was, oh, and they have this little care package here with the bumper. Nice little touch. I like these little things. These are these little care packages that the companies that do put these in, while small uh, in nature is what they are, it's like the, the chocolate at the turndown service in a nice hotel. Uh, the mounting hardware was, I actually make sure to pull this out so I don't go dropping that and then stepping on it. That would not feel good. <laughs> right so that is nation's photo lab um again this is going to be one of 11 companies that were reviewing part of the 2021 shootout if you want to take a look at some of the other companies that we've reviewed so far go down below in the description and you'll have uh, quick links to each one of those i'm also going to have a quick link to the video that's going to show ultimately who did we crown for the 2021 canvas shootout champion now it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do me a huge favor. If you found some value in this video, if I helped you make a more educated decision on which canvas print or what to look for in canvas prints, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, hit that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. My friends, I'm going to be jumping out of my office. Now you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.